Moshe Kraus was born in Ushur, Czechoslovakia to a Chasidic family. He was one of nine children. He learned music liturgy from his father, singing together with him in their synagogue. Moshe was acclaimed as a child prodigy, singing professionally as a soloist from the age of 9 to 13. He traveled to cities throughout Europe to perform on the High Holy Days. As an adult, he served as a cantor in Siget, Romania, and Siget and Budapest in Hungary. In 1943, the Germans rounded up the Jews of Budapest. Gantor Kraus was sent to forced labor at the Boer camp in Yugoslavia. The inmates were forced to move stones from one point to another, only to pick them up again and return them to their original location. From Boer, Gantor Kraus was transported to Bergen-Belsen, the notorious concentration camp in Germany. At night, after a day of backbreaking labor, Cantor Kraus walked from barracks to barracks, singing happy songs to his fellow prisoners in an effort to give them hope to carry on for another day. After the war, Cantor Kraus's cantorial career took flight. He was appointed as chief cantor of the prominent Great Maudim Synagogue in Bucharest, Romania. There, he discovered two of his sisters who had survived the war. In 1948, Cantor Kraus moved to Israel, where he became a tank machinist. When Yigal Yadin, the IDF's chief of staff, heard Cantor Kraus sing, he said, I can get another machinist, but I can't find someone else to sing like you. He was then appointed the first chief cantor of the Israeli Defense Forces. It was during this period that Cantor Kraus met and married his Israeli-born wife, Rivka. Cantor Krauss's star rose to new heights, appearing in concerts in dozens of Jewish centers in Europe. Following his years in Israel, he served as cantor in Antwerp, Belgium, in Johannesburg, South Africa, in Mexico, and Venezuela, and finally, Ottawa, Canada, where Cantor Kraus and Rivka have made their home for 40 years. Cantor Kraus believes that he survived the Holocaust when others did not so that he can share his story of survival and message for all of humanity. The Canadian Society for Yad Vashem is honored to pay tribute to Cantor Kraus, recognizing him for his dedication and commitment to disseminating the universal lessons of the Holocaust. Yeah, you're